A UN agency says half of Gaza is starving, and this is what their desperation looks like. Palestinians swarming over aid when it arrives. This was at the Egyptian border, though Israel has now opened its crossing into Gaza for the first time since the war began. The World Health Organization has described the scene here at the Al Shifa hospital as a bloodbath. A handful of doctors and nurses have stayed on, despite no blood for transfusions and no working operating theatres. New patients arrive every minute. We arrived and there were hundreds of people in the, in the street outside, in the emergency department entrance. And then when you walk in the doors, um, it was a, a bloodbath, really. Wherever we go in Gaza, people tell us that they're hungry and that they're thirsty. Even people I met yesterday with serious injuries uh, didn't ask for uh, pain relief, they asked for water. Um, everybody was making a hand sign to me uh, saying that they wanted water. Yet in Israel, it is the shooting of three of their own hostages by mistake, which is fueling the biggest anti-war protest so far. One of those hostages was buried today. Alongside Israel's disbelief that it could shoot its own people is the impatience of Western governments, who are making it clear that enough is enough. We must do all we can to pave the way to a sustainable ceasefire, leading to a sustainable peace, David Cameron wrote alongside his German counterpart. The sooner it comes, the better. The need is urgent. Too many civilians have been killed. But France's foreign minister has gone much further. She called for a ceasefire now to free 130 remaining hostages to allow in more aid. Irresponsible call. For a ceasefire. Though her Israeli host told her such a truce would be irresponsible, a gift to the survival of Hamas. And Benjamin Netanyahu is not budging either. Extremists inside his cabinet help keep him in power. And today he showed them a letter from the relatives of dead soldiers telling him not to stop now. The will of the fallen is what guides us. We will fight till the end, and we will achieve all of our objectives. If that's true, it will be at the expense of over two million Palestinians. A British government minister has voiced the fear that more may die from illness and disease than airstrikes and fighting. Gaza's health ministry, which is controlled by Hamas, says over 18,000 have been killed in the war so far.